Hello friends. So I recently got a pack of 12 by 12 canvas panels. They don't have the hollow back and I have a great idea for a project. I'm going to be using one sheet of a laminating pouch. I just cut the pouch in half. I'm also going to be using a sublimation print as well as a bunch of one by one squares of HTV. So if you want to see what I came up with, stay tuned. The vision that I had for this project was to have a big image in the middle of the canvas with the little HTV squares around the border. But I wasn't quite sure how I wanted everything sized. So in Design Space, I went ahead and made two squares. One is 12 by 12 and the other is 9 by 9. And then I just centered them together to get a better look at it. I did go ahead and upload the image that I'm going to be using for my sublimation print. And then I just resized it to the 9 by 9 size. Now, I did like how the border looked. I liked how big the image was. But I'm not using design space for any of that, so I got rid of it. I am, however, going to use my Cricut to cut my squares. So I added a square and made it one by one. I wanted 20 squares of each color, so I just changed the project copies to 20. And I used the Everyday Iron-On setting for three of my vinyls. The other one, I used the Glitter Iron-On. And because my image is so much bigger, I uploaded it to Silhouette Studio so I could cut it in half. So after I resized it, I went ahead and drew a rectangle and made it 11 and a half inches wide by eight and a half inches tall. That's going to represent one piece of paper. I lined that up with the top of my image and then duplicated it so that I could put one over the bottom half as well. But with the bottom one, I was sure to overlap the top one so that there's a part that would print on both of them. It makes it easier lining them up and taping them together. Then I just selected the whole image, copied and pasted it so I had two copies of it. Now for the first one, I deleted the bottom rectangle. For the second one, I will delete the top rectangle. So to slice them out, after you delete your rectangle, right click and bring your image to the front. Select the rectangle and the image, go into modify and hit divide. Then you can just delete the parts that you don't need. So I deleted the top part of my image and the rectangle. To print them, just move them over into that page border. So after the first one printed, I just swapped them out and put my second one in there and then printed it. So while my sublimation printer was printing, I went ahead and got started cutting my one by one squares. The three dark rolls are Caesar and the really light blue one is Cricut. So after they were cut, of course, I did have to weed them. But this took, I don't know, maybe five minutes because it was super easy. Probably didn't even take that long. But the big difference with this project is I had to use my Frisco Craft heat safe transfer tape. So I put it on my Cricut mat, cut it to size, and removed the backing. Because what I'm going to do is cut those squares out individually so there's none of that clear carrier border around my square. So then I can put them on my transfer tape and I can make my little checker pattern. Now, I made a goof up when I made this. I thought I had three inches of border, which I did, but not three inches on each side. So I did end up having to go back and change it to where it was one block thick down each side, but no big deal. So after my prints printed, I went ahead and trimmed them down, layered them up together, and taped them together. Now the next time I do something like this, I'm going to be leaving a white border when I trim them because this was a little bit, I don't know, it wasn't easy taping it together because I did not leave that little white border. But I got it. So after I taped it, I went ahead and split my laminating pouch in half and cut it down to size. 
And because my image is going to be in the middle of my canvas, I got my T-square out and used my image to find the border lines. And I drew really super faint lines on my canvas so that I could get my laminating pouch pressed in the middle of my canvas. So I pressed that. My heat press was about 350, 360 degrees. And I only pressed it for about 10 seconds. Used my squeegee to work out any air bubbles. And then erased the lines that I could see visibly. So after that was all finished, I went ahead and taped my sublimation print down. And I like to use a lot of tape. I hate it when you get the shadow effect. So tape that down. And I press that at about 395 for 45 seconds. I normally go a little longer, but I did still have to press my HTV border, so it was gonna get some more press time with that as well. So because of the size of my heat press, I couldn't get all four of my borders at once, so I pressed three of them, rotated it, and then pressed the rest of it. So after it was pressed, I did go and remove all of the transfer tape, as well as the carrier sheets. So I used my weeding tool just to get under the edge of the carrier sheet to peel it off. You just have to be careful not to go too far so you don't stick the HTV. But this is how it turned out. I absolutely love it. It's fabulous.